Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is Floss Tube Day and it is my 251st Floss Tube. And today is October 22nd, 2024. Holy cow, we are like <coughs> at the end of October. Sorry about that cough. Now, today we have our October cup, and I'm drinking jasmine with green tea. Oh, yeah. Because it's a little chilly. It was rainy off and on yesterday, all day long. So, I'm not sure how the, today's going to be, so we'll see. So, we worked on a few things. I had two reviews, and we only had three starts this month or this week, sorry, and I worked on five other things, so let's get started, let me push everything over, not in any particular order, this one was from VIP Cross Stitch, to get all the thread out, because it's all wrapped around everything, and this is the squirrel, yeah, he's so cute, I just like his autumny colors. He's just beautiful. So we'll, we'll keep him out because, as you can see, he's kind of easy to stitch on. So I don't know if there's more of that symbol up in here. I can't remember. But I did get that much done. So you can kind of see it on the back better than the front. So, yeah, I really like this one. And it's nice and small. There's going to be back stitching, but, you know, hey, whatever. We'll just have to keep doing it. The next one I got yesterday from Biggest Craft. Let me put everything where it needs to be. And it's these beautiful flowers, and we started on this side. So I almost got that little bud right there finished. I don't, I think there's stuff like around it, but, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, it's turned out really pretty. And I think where the green is, I think there's going to be some leaves or something. I'm not sure how that all melds in next to that big rose there. So, yeah, I really like it. It's, you got to change colors quite a lot. So, yeah. Okay. And I did put it everything that goes with it into its own bag. Has its own little seed or seed bead mat. Holy cow. And I got a bigger bag for the colors because they were all scrunched in there. It was really hard to see what it was. And last but not least on the starts was I call it rose trellis, but it's trellis after the after rain, yeah, that I got from FG Normal, and we started, got to see which side I'm on, right down in here, and I did not get any more done with it. As you can see, that is the extent of it. You can see it better on the back side than you can ever see it on the front side. So, yeah, we'll keep at it little bit by little bit. Seems like I did not too much more than beat a cross stitch this weekend. Now, before I forget, hold please. Thought I'd get this out because it's sitting right there. I've been working on my 12 Chinese ladies. And I didn't work any more up on her top part. But I've been working down there... But, of course you can't see it because there's a wad of blue thread right there. I put that, kind of pinned it with the needle. Oh, crud. We're trying here, kids. So, I've been working on that bottom part of her blue dress there. I don't remember if the rest of it's blue or not, like the skirt part. But, yeah. So, that consumed... Probably two days. Yeah. So, it's coming along 
but I really do like this. And I worked a little bit on that green, we'll call it flower leaf, right underneath all those pink flowers, just to kind of end that up. I think I got one more color there, but yeah, it, it's taking a hot second. Oh gosh. All right. And let's see, what is this? This is Colorful Town from Seven Great. Let me see where my picture is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because this is the only good picture that we have. So I've been working on this side down through here and trying to get some more of that hill, if you want to call it that, taken care of. So I got to see which side's up now. So been working up in here, getting that brown in there and more of the brown down into those trees. It's a 14 count Egyptian cotton. So yeah, I haven't worked on any more houses or anything, but just kind of working this section right straight down. Little bit by little bit by little bit, but I sure do love it. And I love all the colors that are in it. It's just fabulous. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better kit. You just couldn't. And I worked on, I have to look, Garden Courtyard from DP Clubs, as you can see written over there on the side, so I won't forget. Been working on that building and that roof, actually, not the building. So, been putting more of that, gotta see where we're at, of that, we'll turn it this way, that's that roof. So, been adding the brown, which is that green symbol, throughout all that to kind of make it more, look more thatched. And, gotta flip it. We've been working over here on these trees and stuff, and the, what do you call it, the trunks of the trees. So, yeah. It's getting there. 14 count, full coverage. Oh, yeah. And I seriously don't know about the back stitching. I can't even possibly remember. And we also worked on Autumn House from Amazon. I got this in 2021. And it's supposed to look... Make sure it's right side up. Uh, look out of me. And I've got part of that done. Worked a little bit in those trees. But like I said, the trees on this side are kind of weird. It, the symbols are so close, it's hard. So we worked on this side of it this time. But I will keep it out. Get a hold of my wad of thread. Oh, I got something. Something fell, but it didn't. So, as you can see, there's those trees. And look at that green and yellow and yellow green and regular green. And then there's a blue in there. And it's like, nope, got to have good light for that. So, that's how as much of those trees I've got. About got the wagon wheel and these little fence-like things and the pumpkins done. But uh, this time, we worked... On the trees on this side this yellow because all this is so much easier to see than the other side that I showed you so yeah we'll keep it out let me put that thread in there before I lose where it goes <sighs> yeah it's a piece of work I saw that uh, someone else was working on this or they had said that they yeah no <laughs> We're working on it, and they were only halfway through, so I really don't feel so bad. But, you know, if I would just work on it constantly, it's not that hard to stitch. Except for that one part with the trees, it's a little bit insane. Now, I can't remember if I stitched on this this week or not. I will just show you the progress. It is that mill. God, it is so pretty. And been working another wad of thread. On finishing those rust colored reddish buildings and putting the last couple colors into them and then this is going to get real light light wood color if you will and so is the roof 
so that it will really stick out when I get done with it. But, yep, I just keep adding colors left and right. And it's nice to work on because it's small and I don't have to wrestle anything. Sometimes I get tired of messing with the big ones. I can do it over here in my chair, but every once in a while I just grab a bag with something small in it and just sit and stitch. I did that a little bit this weekend, but I wouldn't get too carried away. Because most of the time was consumed with, gotta see which way it goes, this one. And this is the poinsettia from One Day Saving. Love it. So I'm trying, I'm trying to finish it by Christmas, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But I will show you if I can figure out which way it goes. I've almost got this stuff across here done. There's a little bit more. Maybe another couple colors. I've been working on the leaves and then the poinsettia leaves. Just little bit by little bit. You see, I've still got my magnets there. I took the magnets off the other one or else I won't have any magnets over there. So, I keep this one all together because it's the one I've been working on and concentrating on. And I did make it its own bag so everything stays together this time. And that, guys, is everything that I worked on. Holy cow. Yeah. But, you know, I want to say for the most part, I put the most time in the past two or three days in the 12 ladies and that poinsettia. I want to get some progress on both. So, we'll see. I have no plans or any idea what I'll be working on this week or what's going to trip my trigger to even work with, you know, because sometimes I can have plans to work on one thing and then I end up working on uh, something else. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.